Hi, the purpose of this demonstration is to um, do a couple things actually. This is part two of a tutorial on logarithms that I started earlier. And we're going to do two things, there's two objectives in this particular video. We're going to convert exponential equations to logarithmic, e e logarithmic equations and then back. And then we're also going to try to solve some simple logarithmic equations. I'll show you how this works. And then I'm going to try to demonstrate the why of how that happens and all that sort of thing. Okay, probably the first thing to remind ourselves in again is what is a logarithm? A logarithm is an exponent. That's pretty much it. Logarithms are exponents, especially when that exponent is an unknown. So notice I have 2 to some exponent is equal to 6. Now when it's written in this form as an exponent, this is called an exponential equation or the exponential form. Okay. The logarithmic form on this is a little bit different. I would write this as log. Now what's the base in this particular problem? The base here is the 2, isn't it? So I'd say log base 2 of the exponent. We don't know what the exponent is. Oops, sorry about that. That should be an x. So we're solving for the exponent. The exponent goes out here. And then what it's equal to goes here. So if you're given a problem that says log base 2 of 6 equals x, what they're actually saying is 2 to the x is equal to 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and identify these parts here. It's a little tricky, but what goes down here is the base. Okay, so those are interchangeable. What goes up here are the exponent, and that goes there. And then what it's equal to is right there. Okay? So as an example, let's try something different. Let's say I gave you, instead of the exponential form, changing it to the log arithmetic form. Let me give you a logarithm form. Let's say log base 3 of, uh, I don't know, let's say 5 is equal to x. How could I change that? to the exponential form. Well, let's see. We said the base goes first, and the base is right there. The exponent goes to the outside, so it's like saying 3 to the x is equal to 5. Okay, now why is that helpful? Well, it's actually for, helpful for a number of reasons, because it gives us an idea of pretty much what our x will be equal to. Let me show you something over on the side here. If I said 2 to the first power, what's the answer to that? The answer is 2. If I said 2 to the second power, what's the answer to that? Well, we know the answer is 4. If I said 2 to the third power, what's the answer to that? And we know that that answer is 8. Now, look up here to our original example 1. We're saying 2 to the x is equal to 6. Now notice 6 is right between those two numbers. So I'm saying 2 to the x is equal to 6. Notice that it's going, my exponent's going to probably be somewhere between 2 and 3. I wish it was exactly like halfway between, but that's not how logarithms work. If you remember, logarithms are curved, so it's not going to be exactly halfway between. But we have to figure out how to figure out how to get that to work, okay? And there's actually a way of doing that. You can uh, plug things into calculators, you can use natural logs, you can use uh, converted forms, all sorts of good stuff. What I know for right now is that my x is going to be somewhere between the 2 and the 3. Now let me show you how I could actually solve that. So 
let's take our problem again, example 1, and say 2 to the x is equal to 6. The way you would solve this is to take the log of both sides, just like you might take, want to take the radical of both sides if that were like x squared, but you're going to take the log of both sides. What I'm going to write is log 2x is equal to log 6. Second step. Okay. Now there's a rule that says if I have the x up here in the denominator, I can actually bring it down into the front of the log. So it's like saying log x log 2 is equal to log 6. Keep going. That's going to be like saying x, and let's divide both sides by log 2, x is equal to log 6 divided by log 2. Now why did I do that? What is this going to be? Actually I'm going to put this into my calculator and I'm going to figure out what log 6 is and then just divide it by log 2. Log 6 is actually equal to 0.778. And then log 2 is equal to 0 0.301. And 0 0.778 divided by 0 0.301 is going to be equal to 2.585. A lot of teachers like to go out to three places past the decimal point, and I am one of those as well. So let's see what we have here. And let's see if it makes sense in the context of what we said earlier. We're saying that 2 to the x is equal to 6, that x is 2.585. Let's go back up here to our little demonstration. 2 to the 2.585 is somewhere between 2 and 3. And notice that that's going to give me 6. So it actually looks like it might be a correct answer. So I hope that helped. Um, this is just as a quick as a quick review. This is called the exponential form, and you can change that to the logarithmic form. Okay. Once you fall in, have it in the logarithmic form, you can. There's a number of other ways to solve it. I'll give you some other examples of that in different videos. Once you have it that, let's say you can't solve it easily, you take the log of both sides, take the x, move it into the front divide by whatever log is on that side, and then you'll be able to solve for your exponent. Okay, good luck.